From a damp upper valley in New Hampshire, we bring you a men's lacrosse matchup here today between the homestanding Big Green of Dartmouth and the visiting Red Storm of St. John's. And welcome to Scully Fahey Field here on the campus of Dartmouth College in Hanover, New Hampshire. I'm Matt Corsetti. Matt Paul in that game for the Big Green had a pair of goals. Jonathan Huber, who we highlighted off the top, four goals for St. John's. Here, first goal of the game is going to come for the Big Green, and it's going to come from Matt Paul. Catamount scored two goals in a 42-second span as this shot comes towards the net, and it's in. It's George Prince now in double-digit scoring for the year in terms of goals. His 10th of the season. It's sixth in the nation, or second in the nation, excuse me, I should say. And the way they're scoring right now, Something to behold, third goal of the game coming here for the Big Green, wasting no time tallying and finding the back of the net. St. John's trying to work the ball around on offense, only averaging about eight goals per game so far this season. Is working his way towards the front that time. It's Brian Kelly, shot through, score! And Tommy Rogan with it now. Rogan had a goal in that game against Vermont. Five goals for him already on the season. Quick feed coming in front, shot score McGill! Fifth goal on the board for the Big Green with 7.04 to go here in the first. Jack Lutfi with it now. Five goals on the season for him. Tallies in three straight. Huber feed in front. Save made point blank by Hanks. So 15 seconds on the man up opportunity left here. Kelly working it to Huber. Back over it comes to Kelly. Kelly to Huber working down low. Shot score. Man up goal scored by Mackenzie Iacocca right on the doorstep. McGill trying to go on a run, feeding up top. Rip from distance, going high and scoring is Matt Paul. Second goal of the game for Matt Paul, going low to high, changing Quirk's eye level on the shot and just an absolute ripper there. Nifty shot there by Tommy Rogan, went around the world behind the head, tried to score it. Now a bouncer and it's in for Bonnie. Second goal of the afternoon for Henry Bonney. Emke and Myers on the center X. Ball scooped up and taken away here by Joe Azelby. Azelby feeds over, shot score. Second of the game for George Prince. Big Green wasting no time in that one. Nine seconds between goals that time. Chance for St. John's here to maybe try and stop the bleeding. Iacocca. Working it around. Quick feed down low. Shot towards net and it's in. Rogan will look up at the clock as we move inside a minute to go here in the quarter. Inside 20 seconds on the man up opportunity for the big ring. Quick feed in front. Score. It's Paul. Again, a beautiful feed. And Paul with the finish. He's got a first half hat trick. And Dartmouth pushes the lead back up to seven at 10 to three. Quirk was looking to try and send this one long with just three seconds to go. Huber will gather and get a shot towards net and he scores. Unbelievable! Quirk with the desperation pass down the field. Huber takes it in and rips it past Hinks and gets St. John's on the board right before time expires. Wind. One, two, three, it. Lapina with it now, working towards the front. Bounces a shot and it's in. Klein, the sophomore of Marblehead, Massachusetts, leaves it back for Duncan. Duncan goes. Huber fires low to high and he's able to beat Hinks. So Zahowski is able to do it and Huber after getting. His third of the game, Zahowski's able to net his second, but the big green come right back. It's McGill again in front. Feed coming down low. Prince dancing, feeding. McGill fires and scores. McGill with his fifth of the afternoon. Prince will get the assist, and that will be point number 100 in George Prince's career in a Dartmouth. Prince spinning, nothing doing. We'll leave it back here for Quinn Moore. Moore now to Nate Davis. Davis dancing the outside. Rips towards net and a save made there by Quinn.